And so the other day I was scrolling through the internet's endless web full of, oh web, I get it. Full of information, etc, etc, and I saw the title of an article that said, Are we ready for a gay president? And I didn't even click on it because in my mind, my natural response was, well, there's probably already been a gay president, he just wasn't out. Like, for sure, out of 45 presidents, one of them was gay. Potentially, a lot more of them. And so my answer to, are we ready for a gay president, is this. We've probably already had one. In fact, a lot of people believe that America's 15th president, James Buchanan, was in fact a closeted homosexual who had a relationship with the senator from Alabama, Rufus King. <gasps> wow. However, Buchanan was not a great dude. Pro-slavery, not the best president. Definitely not someone I would have voted for. Him being gay, even if he had been like running on like a I'm an out gay man agenda, I would not have voted for this guy because his politics do not correspond with mine. Which leads me to this. Someone's sexuality or gender identity is totally irrelevant to me as a voter. I don't care who you love or don't love, maybe you're asexual, I don't care. I care about where you stand for on policies and issues. And so here we are in 2018 with a huge, huge, huge midterm election coming around the corner and I just ask you guys to pay attention to the issues that matter to you. Not every single issue out there on the planet, just think of things that matter to you and follow the candidates that support the thinking that you have. So, yes, guess what? This video is asking you to make sure you're registered to vote, registered to vote, what? Registered to vote, registered to... Uh, uh. Okay, ready? It's up to you. Register to vote, register to vote. What, what? Register to vote. You know, do some basic research. Just pick somebody who seems nice. Are we ready for a gay president? We've probably already had one. Are we ready for a gay president? Doesn't matter to me. Are we ready to take America into a better, brighter future that's hopefully safer? And then, hey, maybe we can focus on other things like renewable energy or maybe even getting to space. I really thought Star Trek would have happened by now. At the end of the day, if we ever have an openly gay candidate that runs for president, I just hope that they've lived a life that they're proud of and they're proud of the decisions that they've made and they haven't had to harbor too much shame and secrecy surrounding it. Cause that stuff is toxic, dude. That stuff is toxic. Point being, find issues that are important to you, think about those issues, and make sure you're registered to vote. And vote for someone based on the issues that matter to you the most. Da -da 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 -da. Obviously it's a lot more complicated and there's a lot more research you can do, however, it's important to just get started participating in politics because this has a direct effect on the lives and safety and love of the people in your life and yourself. My babies, please register to vote and then vote for people who stand for you, America. I really love this country. I don't know what to say. I love it. I love it here. That's it for me, guys. Happy President's Day. Have you enjoyed your three-day weekend? Let me know in the comments below. Do you believe every weekend should be three days long? Me too. Wouldn't that be great? Why aren't the weeks four and three? Wouldn't that just be better for everyone? Day, do your laundry, do whatever you need to do. Click like, subscribe, and make sure you watch another video, you know? Because it's fun here. You're welcome to be here. Not like you're welcome, but like you're welcome. Okay, okay. Mwah. Have a great day.